Beginning Jazz Improvisation, Video 5. Hi, so we're going to continue with our jazz improv stuff. Now, we just played Centerpiece a bunch, and we played it with the backing track and everything, and that's all fine and dandy. The problem is, we, we're going to eventually run out of ideas, and every chord we put the same five notes, and that, that just gets to be a little old. So I want to train your ears a little bit, I want to train your fingers, and, um, and train your eyeballs to get you used to what's called the blues progression. Now, so far we've talked about it's, it's basically 12 bars, 12 bar blues, um, and there are groups of four. You have four here, four here, four here. On the handout, um, on the website, it, it kind of explains that. But before we can really go into too much more detail, we have to actually learn the five notes we're going to be able to use. All right? um, this handout that you see right here is called Five Note Scales. You're going to look for that. We're going to play the first one chord um, scale. All right? I'll go first. I'll play it. You play it. I'll play it. I'll play some different rhythms to kind of get you good. And I might play up and down. Here's the first one chord scale. Your turn, go. My turn. Right. Go. Up and down. Up and down and up and down. Ready? A one, two, ready, go. Alright, now take a look at what's called the four chord. Um, if you're playing tenor, trumpet, clarinet, you're going to play, um, it's going to be your C chord. Um, alto, berry, it's going to be your G chord, or your G scale. Trombone, bass, flute, and mallets, it's going to be your B flat. Uh, make sure that fourth note gets flatted. If you read what it says to do and use your ears, you'll have it. Same kind of drill, this is with the four chord notes. One, two, all right. Your turn, go. My turn. Ready, go. Up and down, right? Ready, go. Up and down and up and down. I'll go first. Now, we're going to go to the five chord. This is going to be the last one that you see there, the Roman numeral five. Tenors, trumpets, and clarinets, you guys are starting on a D. Alto berries, you're starting on an A. Trombones, bass, flutes, and mallets, you guys are all starting on a C. Right? Same kind of drill. One, two, three. Follow me, right? Go. All right, you have to memorize those. You can't really do this without it. You don't want to have to be looking at notes because you're just going to get lost. This is a lot of ear training, not necessarily eyeball or finger training. And if your fingers don't know it, your ears don't know it, and your eyeballs don't know it, it's not going to work. We at least need one of those to not work. All right? Good luck. Practice lots. Thanks. Bye.